here I'm gonna show you how to use uh, Anthem room correction software uh, with a microphone and uh, AV receiver from them. So I've got the MRX 500 and I'm now gonna do the calibration because I've got it straight away from <coughs> Reaper. Uh, so I'm gonna do the calibration now. I'm using Windows 10 and all the software works on my Windows 10. You need to download Anthem Room Correction software. You can get it from Anthem website and uh, download from there. Uh, it's asking you now for the serial number for a microphone. So you need to provide the serial number. You find it on the microphone. So you download it, uh, download it with it and you don't have to take it from the CD. So, which is in the case if you have a MacBook Pro which does not have a CD drive basically. And this is helpful. Uh, so what we need, uh, we need uh, two things to connect. Um, so basically we need, uh, we need um, a connection to the AV receiver. So this is USB connection, but that going to Kingspan serial adapter, because you can see here, it's a serial adapter, uh, which you need to buy separately. You can buy it on Amazon or wherever you want. And basically this uh, allow you to use serial port uh, on, your, on your computer. And then you have to connect it straight away uh, to the AV receiver. So it's going back to the AV receiver, to the back here. I'll just maybe show it. Uh, might not be able, but this is connected to the rear of the receiver. And uh, here as well you can see the microphone which comes with it. So this is really pro microphone uh, with a stand, telescope stand. As you can see here, I put it on my position one, and my initial position. And this microphone is USB, and it's connected as well straight away to, to your computer. Uh, so Windows detects automatically the, the microphone. Uh, one thingy that I don't like with it is you can see here, uh, the cable drops from the microphone, uh, which is very annoying. So I have to use tape to basically um, stabilize it. So it's not pulling down uh, in any way. And this telescope you can see is very flexible. So you can adjust here, you can adjust here. I'm just gonna show here and adjust this. Um, so this is initial initial one position and we're gonna start to um, calibrating this. So uh, what we need to do, we need to launch the Anthem Room Correction software. It's asking you to do it automatically. Yeah, let's go. Um, begin to start, initializing. It's gonna now ask a few questions. So which configuration do you have it? So uh, I have a uh, heights here. You can see rear heights. I have to choose this. Uh, we have a subwoofer, uh, central, uh, use movie config, and number of positions. So I'm gonna measure for five positions. This is the room, but five positions definitely enough. And I'm just on a, a calibrating for one a position, basically main position mine. Uh, so that's gonna be fine. <clears throat> We're doing okay now. Uh, I think it tried to initialize. I need to probably turn it on. No, it's gonna turn on automatically. So let's send the command to AV receiver. AV receiver started. So what you can see here, I've got a config with a 7.1 uh, with a height uh, about here and this is the size, subwoofer there. Uh, the speakers are Dali Zenso, uh, there are 7 floor stands and once the others central and subwoofer from Dali as well. So here we can see uh, it's anti correction in progress. So now we got, have to go with here. Uh, choose the microphone. So that's my microphone serial number. Why it's like that? Um, so each microphone has a calibration file. Basically it's calibration from straight away from factory. And it says about the properties of a microphone. Um, so it's 
doing calculation, taking care of the microphone, um, microphone uh, data, uh, microphone, uh, you know, uh, specific, how it is, uh, and uh, doing calculation uh, in terms of that. I assume it's quite important, so let's go further. Uh, so we are on the position one now, clicking OK, and we're starting big. All right, so we've done the first bar, uh, part, and now it's gonna just basically uh, we need to change the microphone position and follow the same procedure every time. Uh, so I'm gonna change the position now of the microphone, so you can see how it is um, basically adjustable. So next position it will be that one, something a little bit like. Uh, Okay, position ear level. So that's ear level uh, position on. This. Okay, so we just I'm just gonna show. So we can quick uh, twist it. Uh, we can do like that. We can do it. We can move it. Okay, so you can see uh, if you're doing the the basically connection to the microphone drop. So it's pretty annoying. Um, so now we need to basically. Okay, stabilize it like that. Uh, is it fine? Yeah, that should be fine, definitely. Okay, position also. You can see. Yeah, that's fine. A uh, little bit like that. So it needs to be upward, totally to the ceiling, straight away. And let's go. All right, so we've done all the measurements, five positions. Um, so now it's doing the calculation. So all the calculations are done on a PC. Um, okay, now it's asking us to save it. Yeah, save it. Ah, doing now the calculation, save the result. Yeah, you can see what it's doing. So basically now it's taking all this information of the speaker's response and uh, how the room looks like. So you see it's a pretty busy room. It's applying all the all the corrections. Let's see how it shouldn't take much. After that it's basically uploading them to AV receiver and yeah we can enjoy fully calibrated uh, setup. And yeah, then I'm gonna show a video. Yeah, here we have it. So that was pretty quick. It's uploading to the AV receiver now. Mm. 
Okay, uh, so it looks like it's done. Uh, a receiver does restarting. Uh, done uploading speaker levels. Um, okay, uh, after that stage, uh, we should be able to see uh, calibrated results. So let's see. Uh, it's gonna, okay, upload, verify to play it. Perfect. The show results. So let's show what we've got. So, um, so we here we have a legend. So basically, red is measured uh, lines, uh, blue is target, uh, green is calculated. So, what we see, we have a red, and we have front, left front, right front, left surrounds, right surrounds, uh, and we should have all of them. Uh, let me just scroll it. Yeah, all of them. Uh, with subwoofer as well and let's see on the results so basically uh, we see the uh, blue line dotted line it's the perfect one uh, red is what we had before and green is what we applied so basically green it's just really following the blue line which is ref reference level here we have uh, as well pretty nice calibration results uh, this is across the all the frequency up from uh, 20 to 20k. Um, left surrounds, we see very nicely calibrated as well. Nicely following. Uh, let's see, I think the subwoofer was there. Okay, left. This is a little bit harder, right? Uh, central, yeah, it's a little bit better. And subwoofer. Yeah, we see here down, down um, frequency, which is fine because it so it doesn't have here. Uh, it shouldn't have it here. Uh, down, it's definitely fine. Definitely following this. So yeah, that's the results of room correction.